Hey guys, my name is Jordan here from Tech Today, and there's been a lot going on in the world of tech, so I thought I'd start a new series that revolves around the latest and greatest in the world of tech. So welcome to Release Relay. Starting off with a long way to OnePlus 2, OnePlus really net the jackpot with their overall unique VR keynote experience. I mean, I guess it was cool and all, but realistically not many people even own VR headsets, so to do an event like that it really wouldn't make much sense, because it probably ended up leaving more people disappointed about the release of the product over pleased, which is obviously what they were going for. But they really didn't skip out on the spec department, so I guess it sort of made up for this inconvenience this time around. Speaking of specs, the OnePlus 2 is packing the Hot A10 with 4GB of RAM on the 64GB model only that is, a 5.5 inch 1080p display, a rear 13 megapixel camera with OIS and laser autofocus, Oxygen OS of course, a 3300mAh battery, a fingerprint scanner, and the also desirable USB Type-C connector, and for some odd reason, a dual SIM card slot. Moving on to Motorola, we also got some pretty sweet phones. So we got the brand new Moto X Pure Edition, along with the brand new Moto G, and those are both packing some pretty impressive specs. So let's get to it. Moving on to the Moto X Pure Edition, we're going to be seeing a Hexacore Snapdragon 808 processor, along with, wait for it, a 1440p 5.7 inch display, and impressively, it's still smaller than the iPhone 6 Plus. And then we're also going to be seeing 3GB of RAM site-wide, along with NFC as opposed to the OnePlus 2, and also dual front-facing speakers, a 21 megapixel rear-facing camera, and also a 3000 mAh battery, which they say is going to be the fastest charging on the planet, but we're just going to have to see about that one. And also, you are going to be getting a mere stock Android experience, which is also really nice. And this is all rolled up into a really affordable price point of $399, so OnePlus, you really got some competition here. <laughs> If your pockets aren't that deep, the Moto G might be a great offering for you to check out, considering it will give you great performance for only $180 off contract, and with that price you'll be getting the quad-core Qualcomm Snapdragon 410 processor, along with up to 2GB of RAM, a 13 megapixel rear-facing camera, and that also comes with Android Lollipop, which is pretty nice. And you can also customize the, like, the upgraded models like the Moto X and things like that, which is really nice. One thing I didn't talk much about is the Moto X Play Edition. And this is going to be found only internationally, and it will be sporting a slightly smaller 5.5 inch 1080p display, along with a much larger 3630 mAh battery, but that's only international obviously. So you international customers look like you have a pretty nice phone heading your way. <laughs> One thing that's been a really hot topic recently is Windows 10, which seems to be a pretty big overhaul from Windows 8.1, for my usage at least, but I'm gonna hold off my other thoughts for my full review, so stay tuned for that video. As you can see, there's been quite a bit going on in the world of tech recently. I mean, I personally have the two phones that I discussed would probably go for the OnePlus 2, for the reason that it has the fingerprint scanner, which is basically being implemented throughout Android M, and if you don't have one, you're probably gonna feel left out, sort of, because you won't be able to take advantage of any of those features, and also, I just sort of like the design. But that damn invite system, god, fix that OnePlus! So, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed my first episode of Release Relay, and please stay tuned for my upcoming videos, and see ya!